Mabuhay! Great day guys! Welcome to TSA Toy Stash in Action with another toy review and I'm Ranger Dave and today we are gonna check out the McFarlane Toys Witcher 3 Wild Hunt figure Gerald of Olivia. Though This is just awesome so this is just really great. So I love you know Witcher 3 we picked it up for Switch and you know we were just mind blown for it and you know the game has been nominated for the game of the year and I was just totally stoked when McFarlane announced that they were making a girl uh, in a review figure so let's go ahead guys and check this figure out all right guys so here he is you know we got it here the Geralt of Rivia figure so this is the Witcher 3 I love it okay so I love this game it looks great it looks just really really fantastic you gotta play it you know if you haven't tried it yet but you know this is just awesome getting the figure yeah so I love the packaging yeah it looks very premium and very different with the DC multiverse figures yeah and if you actually look at it right there and going here at the back, you got an awesome artwork right here. This is actually like a product shot. So that is just an awesome product shot. And yeah, enough about the box. Let's go ahead and open him up. Okay, guys. So here he is outside the packaging. Gerald of Rivia. It looks great. All right. I have to say, guys, this looks like a statue aesthetically. Uh, but, you know, you you got all of the articulations. So I'm really amazed right now when I pulled it out of the box. So it's just really phenomenal. Okay, so here's a closer look guys so you can actually see. It looks awesome, right? I love the paint job right here for the head. All right, the head sculpt is just amazing. Uh, it's a little pinkish right here, but I don't know if you can see it, but it is uh, what it is. But it's actually great, all right? The head sculpt uh, looks amazing. Manajima scars. And if you actually look uh, closer, uh, right there you can actually see that major bloody uh, paint job so that is great uh, his eyes is actually uh, you know the one that has the muted uh, yeah, uh, mutated eyes that he has young yellow eyes so that is great and going here for the armor itself guys you got the metal mesh right here and the armor it's just great you know this is sculpted everything is sculpted very nicely even here at the back you know to the last point uh, where everything that you look at it it's all sculpted, it's all painted very nicely. It is a great, great figure. Even here, guys, I mean, look at that. That belt is just really, really good. You actually feel the texture out of it, so that is awesome. And uh, now the issue is right here, guys, this is sculpted, yeah. So this is the one that he makes him hold uh, the prize uh, or anything that he comes with the bounty with. So that's, you know, supposed to be it. But you know, it's it's just stuck right there, sculpted. It's even on a flimsy thing, so uh, a little bit bummed by that. But other than that, guys, I mean, going here uh, for the boots, uh, the legs, the entire thing is amazing. I mean, even here for the necklace, it is sculpted and it's painted beautifully. So I have really no complaints overall for this figure all right guys so going for the accessory we got here the steel sword the steel sword looks great all right so it is sculpted beautifully now uh, it is a little plain uh because it's not talaga siya. that's the entire paint job that uh, you're gonna get uh but it does have scuff marks now i don't know if you can see it right here uh but it does have scuff marks all over the blade yeah, and so I think ang kailangan mo lang gawin dito is just uh, repainted if you like you know if you're into customizing or not even just customize just get one of those sharpie uh, silver paint uh, painted uh, sharpies and then just you know put all the sides right there uh, it would look beautiful up next is the silver sword again it is similar with the steel sword yeah and so uh, the scope is here uh, but you know the paint job is a little off uh, again, yeah, uh, a suggestion is just get that metal uh, painted sharpie and just you know go ahead try to you know do a little scuff mark. It's gonna be very easy, guys. You can actually try to just paint that off, right? Uh, going here for the entire thing and then use like a napkin or something or a tissue, and then just uh, rub it all off. Uh, you're gonna get all that scuff mark. So you know that's a little tip. So that's just awesome. Of course, you're gonna get all these stuff. Yeah, so this is uh, like the handle now. I did forget which one is which. So I'm guessing this is where uh, the steel. Oh, wait, no, maybe it's here. Yeah, so uh, this is where the steel goes, and this is where the silver goes. So I think, okay, so I think that's the thing. Maybe just uh, comment down below, guys, uh, because I really don't care uh, which is which before uh, the casing. I'm just going in. Uh, for these blades but yeah that's just awesome lastly guys you're gonna have the werewolf head now this is why 
uh, it says on the box it's you know not for uh, children because it has like this bloody gory thing going on but it is a beautiful sculpted you know werewolf head so I like that okay now applying the accessory guys is very easy so you can take the you know the entire thing right here the holster and then it does have that peg right here at the back so you can just peg it in and there you go so you know it's beautiful and then you can take one of those swords and it'll take the silver sword right here and make him hold uh, the blade uh, either of the hands all right so you could do it for both hands if you like yeah, oops there you go uh, yeah. and uh, there so it does uh, you know pretty much hold them uh, both it looks great yeah, and so uh, you know at least you can actually do that uh, for both hands and then of course you can make him hold uh, the werewolf head right here yeah so it looks great it looks awesome really nothing special I wish it could just be uh, on here you could just yeah, put it here but it is on a flimsy thing but you can do so yeah better medium hulu sha all right but you know it's better if he holds it because this is supposed to be like an extra accessory i don't know why they chose it to stay there but at least guys you got you know an awesome figure for the articulation guys for the girl figure so for the head you got a bow joint so you can move it side to side up about this much and down now uh the issue is right here because of the long hair that he's gonna have uh it's a very limited uh you know possibility for the articulation on the head but uh going here for the arms you can raise it up about this far and then back about this much now it's beautiful because this is like a soft fiber plastic and so it moves and it doesn't I you know hinder any of the articulation you can raise it up about this much you still have that butterfly joint right there so it's a little tight right here because of, this is a little tight uh, data for uh, the suit uh, that's a little rubber but you know it's really cool and then you got a bicep swivel right here very nicely double jointed uh, you know um, elbows right there and of course you got a bow hinge uh, wrist yeah so medyo malaki yung bow hinge na dito but you know it's not that bothersome now going here for the torso guys so for the upper torso it does crunch yeah so there you go para siyang similar dun sa robin figure uh, na we get for the dark knight's metal yeah so ganyan siya and then you can raise it up about this much as well meron talaga siya articulation guys and then going here for the waist yeah so you can swivel at the waist it does crunch you know so it's very nice you can make him do the splits about this far so there you go it's very cool now take it uh, you know easy because ito yung medyo may problem yung iba all right but other than that guys it can move forward it can go back you know it's a very good range and then you got a double jointed knees yeah so it's all tight there you go yeah, so magandang articulation na dun. And then going right here, you got a bow hinge ankles. Yeah, so it can ankle pivot, so that is great. And then you got a small boot cut right here. Alright guys, so just for fun, we have here our Gerald of Rivia figure next to our ZD Toys Iron Man and of course a McFarlane uh, Injustice 2 Flash. Uh, I have to say guys, he is tall and he fits perfectly with all of your 7 inch figures. Now, uh, this is just great to see how he scales up and he is one of the best looking figures all right so i, I did put it up right here uh, that these two are just great one of my favorites but yeah uh, the figure itself just completely stands out for me so that is just awesome all right guys so that's my take for the mcfarland toys richard wild hunt figure uh, you know the gerald of rivia uh, this is just awesome i love the sculpt the paint job and of course the overall like this of it from the game i actually feel that you know it actually transcends uh, to the game itself yung, yung itsura niya kasi if I every time that I look at the face uh, it looks like an animated uh, thing for me I don't know it's just a feeling it's just really great to have this figure and yes I am giving this figure a 5 out of 5 rating and I hope you guys like this video and if you are new to the channel please do hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be updated on every new video we have here that wraps it up guys remember life is one big collection peace out god bless